I live in upstate New York in a town called West Shokan. My exhibition is called Reverberations and it includes work that is both sewn and handwoven. The piece that you see behind me is a piece that was developed while I was here as a resident in 2020 and it's made up of remnants of failed paintings that I've just cut up and repurposed into this quilt. It's about 11 feet by 40 feet and when I was here at Bemis it was half the size so it's grown considerably since 2020. And I also have some handwoven pieces in the exhibition that sort of play off of the patterning and the color that you see in the sewn work here. A lot of the color that I use comes from memories of colors that I've seen in the Philippines. That's where I was born and I've revisited the Philippines many times over the years. Oftentimes it's also just dictated by the surroundings, an emotion, uh, something that I see on someone's clothes. Uh, so it varies. A lot of my inspiration comes from my background in music. Before I was a visual artist, I was a classically trained concert pianist. Music has been a constant inspiration for me just in terms of composition, thinking about color. Music and visual arts share similar languages when you're describing each of them, just in terms of harmony and dissonance of colors, the rhythm of compositions, syncopation, symmetry, etc. While I'm not a concert pianist, the training that I've had has still lingered and it shaped the way that I, I make my work today. And also, since I work on a loom, the loom is very similar to working on a piano or playing the piano, and so there's this nice rhythm that happens with the making. It's, it's a very somatic sort of uh, process. I was a resident at Bemis in 2020. The one thing that Im immediately struck me was uh, the facilities, the scale. And to me, that had a significant impact. It enabled me to dream big, but then also to realize on that big scale. One of the most important things that happened during that residency was a shift in scale. Prior to that time, I had never really considered making work that was site-specific or really large. I, up until then, a lot of my work was wall-based, kind of like hung paintings, more moderately scaled. And so being at Bemis allowed me to really conceive on a larger scale. I made a wrapped column in my studio, and that was sort of, that was the inspiration for wrapping these four columns in the gallery. It also enabled me to, to see this quilt piece in its entirety, which I've never been able to do prior to then. And that shift in scale was, was huge, and it was a game changer for the rest of my time there and afterwards. In this gallery space, I knew immediately that I wanted to have the large quilt on this wall just because it was a wall that was big enough to accommodate the scale of this piece. And then also seeing the opposing wall, which you're not seeing right now, it's sort of thinking about a reversed mirrored relationship. So it's more concentrated on the borders. For me, it, this wall was really what was grounding the space and then that dictated everything else that was gonna happen in the space. And knowing that these four columns were central to the gallery was also uh, an interesting focal point to think about with regards to what was happening on the peripheries. So I hope people take away when they leave this exhibition is a sense of joy that comes from the color. There are so many things in our lives right now that are heavy and, and serious, and I still believe in the power of beauty and color to bring people joy. And whether or not you you understand what's going on in the show to me is ir irrelevant. It's do you have a response to the color? If you at least have a response to the color, then to me that's the great thing. Mm -hmm.